Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I want to talk about what most coaches never consider when trying to book more appointments. 40 plus calls a month. This is something that we are doing consistently. We're booking 10 plus co uh, calls a month. And I wanted to talk about some things, and this is pretty interesting. So after working with 10 plus coaches in the last few weeks, I am starting to see the differences between my clients who don't get results and the clients who succeed. So I am starting to see what's going on, why some of them are getting results, why some of them are not getting results. And this is something that I want to share with you guys. And yeah, this is one of the biggest things that most coaches forget. And this is, this is the main differences. This is the main difference between my successful and my not so successful clients. And of course, this also depends on the system. This also depends on what we are doing. But at the same time, I want to be transparent with you guys and I want to share with you something that I saw, something that I cannot change. Even if I give you the perfect solution, even if I give you the best appointment setter in the world, still, if there are some things that you don't change in your coaching business, you are not going to get the best results. So this is what I want to share with you guys. So the thing is that most coaches don't see, first of all, they don't see their correlation between volume and appointments. So that is the first part. I've been talking about that for the last few, few weeks, but really most coaches don't really see that they are not sending messages, that they are not sending enough messages. And if you are not sending enough messages, if you're not hitting this volume, you are not gonna book appointments. However, today I want to talk about something even more important than that. And it is the fact that most coaches don't see a correlation between branding, content, and clients. So they don't see the importance of building a brand in order to scale their business, building a brand in order to get clients effortlessly. So I had the opportunity to learn this by, by, by being in two situations. And this is actually really something really interesting, something interesting that I experienced. When I was an appointment setter, I was booking 25 to 35 sales calls a month. These were like 100 in total, but qualified sales calls were like 25 to 35. But the interesting part is that we had almost 1 million, 1 million followers, 1 million followers on, 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 some, on some social media platforms. And in this case, we were making 50, 70K, 80K cash collected a month. This was around 100 to 120, 120K in revenue. However, then I saw that I thought, okay, so we are at this point, we have 1 million followers, but I think that we can do some things differently. I think that we are not getting the best prospects. I think that we have to change something. And then I decided to try my own strategies. I didn't have followers with my new business. I launched a completely new offer. And with my own business, we were able to go from zero to almost $13,000, one tree, 13. $13,000 in just 40 days and we are booking 40 calls a month without an audience. I only have like 1000 friends on Facebook. So that's pretty much it. However, right now I am starting to pay a lot of attention on YouTube and Instagram and mainly on YouTube. And I want to explain that in a minute because right now I am, I am close to hitting 200 subscribers on YouTube. So yeah. And in this case with our business, what we did is $10,000 a month cash collected. So at first I, I, I thought, yeah, so this is perfect. I would prefer to not have an audience and make 10K instead of having 1 million followers and make only 50K, 70K. And I mean, when I say only, I mean compared to the number of followers. So I, I was like, yeah, I want to focus only on this. And I was doing this only with pure outbound. So pure outbound, only messages. But then, and we get to this point, however, this is the main thing that I want to share with you guys. Yes. Outbound is really helpful. Uh, you can go, I mean, with outbound, you can pay someone $5,000 and they can make you $100,000 a month back. It is as simple as that. that. That was exactly what I experienced. I was getting paid this amount, this small amount, and I was making for the company this amount. So this is a really cost efficient way to grow. And this is like something that Alex from Mossy says all the time, volume negates luck. If you send enough messages, if you contact enough prospects, you will always win. However, even though this is important here, having a brand is even more important. Having a brand is a must. This is something that I saw again from Alex Formosi. This guy is like the, like a genius, like the, the prophet, right? But the thing with Alex Formosi is that he said that he started creating YouTube videos and he started to post content online because he realized that Kylie Jenner and Mr. Beast and, and even Grant Cardone, he realized that all of them had leverage because of the brand they built. So that's why 
if you're really if you're really trying to to play the in the big leagues, you will have to create a brand. And when I was starting out, I was like, yeah, this guy is making this amount of money because he already has a YouTube channel. Yeah, he's already doing this because he has a big audience. However, in my mind personally, I didn't consider the fact that I could create the same kind of brand. So having a brand is a must. No one can copy you if you create a brand. Nobody, if someone likes you, they are gonna pay for your service, even if even if there is another service that is better than you. That's why what that's what happened with Kylie Jenner, of course. Maybe her products are not the best in the world. However, people and her audience decided to pay for those products because they liked her, right? They, they like her brand. And the same thing happens here. Even if we are talking about coaching and business, if you create content, people will come to you just because they like you. Even if you don't have the best solution in the world. And it's funny because a lot of the guys, a lot of the gurus that you see online, they have big audiences. And when you pay for their coaching program, you realize that it, it is not that good. You realize that it is pretty basic, that they were selling only a dream and that it was pretty bad. However, you pay that money because they have this authority, they have this brand. So this is exactly what you want to do with your business, with your coaching business. You want to help more people. I mean, I'm not trying to say that you, have, that you need to have a bad product, but what I am saying is that you need to have a brand so that everyone comes to you. How easy it will be if everyone is coming to you instead of just doing outbound? Because I've been doing outbound for the last, for the last few weeks and even though, and I was doing that as an appointment setter for the last few months, and even though that works, still, it is not as simple, right? Outbound is just linear, while having a brand is exponential. If you send 1,000 messages, for example, you're going to book 10, 20, 30 appointments. If you send 2,000, you're going to book 10, 20, uh, you're going to book 20, 40, 60 appointments. However, the number is not going to increase dramatically unless you start creating content unless you start building a brand. Because now, when you send 100 messages via outbound, for example, with an outbound campaign, now if you send 100 messages with content, you can end up booking 20 appointments, 30 appointments, because people will know who you are. You, you see what I mean? So this is exactly the same thing that I experienced. And this is, it is crazy because I don't know why this took me so long to understand, but I mean, here, here we are. Because, for example, with my YouTube channel right now, finally, I am starting to book appointments from those videos. So people are coming to me directly. They watch my videos on YouTube and they book an appointment. And just imagine if I, I, I have only doing this for a couple of weeks, for five, six weeks. So if I continue doing this, if I improve my content and if I create content that is engaging, just imagine what I'm going to what, what you can do. Just imagine what you can do if you have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube right? So it is very, very powerful. And, and with this brand, this is the, your growth is exponential because you will post videos. Maybe you're not going to see results and you're not going to see results. You're not going to see results. But then all of a sudden you get 1000 subscribers and then 10,000 and then 20,000 and then 100,000. And then all of a sudden you now can make $100,000 a month effortlessly. So that's the reason why you need to create content. And, you need, and ideally, you need to create videos. You need to put yourself out there and you need to understand how to capture attention. So for example, I realized that these documents that I am creating are cool. Maybe they have some information that is valuable or I mean, I am trying to, to do my best always here, but maybe I am not capturing the, the, the attention of, of people in the best way. Right now, I am looking for a video editor and I am looking for a new camera because somebody stole my camera, but that's another topic. But I am looking for a video editor because I know that if I capture the attention of a lot of people and then if I use all of this attention for my product, I will win. I will win. It is inevitable. And I prefer, I would prefer to be well known instead of, instead of living in the shadows, right? I don't, I don't want to be the person that nobody knows. And not because of my ego, but I want people to see my service. I want people to see what I do so that I can help them. And the same thing happens probably with you. It's, the idea is not just to become famous or something like that. The idea is to expand so that you can help more people. That's the idea. And again, if you are serious about achieving your goals, people need to know who you are. I see that a lot of coaches uh, don't post content or they post content that is super uh, generic or they don't post videos or they post one, one, one post. Yeah, they make one post and then they make another one after four weeks, after one month. How on earth can you expect to win when other guys like this guy, right? Alex Hormozzi, again, he's like the legend here. 
So how can you expect to win if they are making, if they are posting one video, you can see every two hours, one day, one day, one day. Yeah, so they are posting like two or three videos per day. So how can you expect, expect to win? This is why they are winning. So this is exactly what we have to do. Even if we are a coach or even if we sell a, a, a service, something high ticket, still we need to have this audience and we need, to start, we need to start building it today because it will take time probably with YouTube. It's not like you will post videos and all of a sudden you will get views. That happened to me for some time I was posting videos about e-commerce and I got some views, but only after one year. However, with Outbound, for example, I am sending all of these people to YouTube and then YouTube sees that some people is watching. Yeah, that some YouTube can see that more people are watching my content and then YouTube is starting to recommend my videos to other people. And if I continue, if I continue, if I continue, it is inevitable that I will have a lot of a, a lot of uh, a big audience that will be interested in what I do. And this is something that happened to me. Probably this is uh, the same thing with you. For years, I didn't want to become a YouTuber who talks about how to make money online. I didn't want to be like these cliche guys that create content, uh, lifestyle content. I didn't want to become that. However, now I understand that I need to do that. I need to become that so that I can get the best results. And if that is the price that I have to pay in order to achieve my goals, the price that I have to the price that I have to pay in order to transform more lives, that, that's something that I will do. Or another example, I didn't want to record TikTok videos, you know, where you put the, the text and you are like, I didn't want to do that, but now I realize that if I want to, to be well known, if I want people to see who I am, I need to record these videos and I need to post the stories and I need to do all the things that are uncomfortable. So this is what's necessary for you in order to win. We are living in an era where attention is the most important thing. So even if, the, even if we are only talking about business here, still you need to capture the attention of your clients, of your potential clients, right? You need to understand how to capture attention. Even if you don't want to become famous, you need to create content. And a lot of people avoid putting themselves out there without understanding that this is necessary. This is what's necessary in order for you to win. And with some of my clients, I am telling them, okay, so if you are serious about this, Yes, I can put the appointment setter for you, but you need to create content and you, you need to put yourself out there because otherwise, yes, we can send 100 messages a day. We can send 3000 messages a, a month, but then, then what, what happens next? What happens next in the next month when we, if, if you don't send those messages, nothing is going to happen when it comes to, I mean, you are not going to get more clients if we stop. However, if you start building a brand at some point, you will have a brand that is so big that it's not going to be even necessary to do outbound. So that's the important part. And just remember again, who is going to win? Alex or Mosi, a guy, for example, let's say, I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's buying companies right now. He's acquiring companies. So who is going to win? Him. He has 500,000 subscribers and, and a lot of people like him or another acquisition company that wants to buy companies. You know, if they don't have content, if they don't know who they are, who are you going to choose? Probably I would choose Alex Formosi versus other companies. Maybe the other company has a better service, a better product, a better whatever. But I would choose Alex Formosi because he has been helping me for a long time. And the same thing happens with millions of people, right? So yeah. And the same thing happens with your service. Who are you going to choose? If you are a coach, who your potential client is going to choose? A coach that is famous and not even famous, maybe this is not the right word, but a, a coach that has a lot of videos, a coach that talks a lot about their life, a coach that is out there versus a coach that doesn't even have a single post. Or maybe they only have two or three posts about their life, uh, uh, just two or three long form posts on Facebook. That's not enough. And again, this is what's important because right now one third, one half of my appointments are coming from my content. And my YouTube channel is bringing appointments for the first time. So if I continue, like I said before, I know that I will, it is inevitable that I will be, that I will win, right? And I want to play in the big leagues. I want to play with the big guys. And if these guys have YouTube channels and if they create these cringy videos, but if they are doing that, then I will have to do that because I want to win, right? And the same thing happens with you if you want to crush your competitors. And it's not about crushing your competitors, maybe. But if you want to win, if you want to help more people, you will have to be out there. You will have to show people who you are. So, yeah, in summary, uh, and actually I wanted to show you just my YouTube channel so that you can get an idea 
I started this almost, you can see almost six weeks ago. Here you can see two months ago. Technically this was six, six weeks ago. This video had zero views, zero views, zero views, one view, three views. But then after my outbound campaigns, you can see that this one now has 80, 87 views. And this is nothing, but I just want to give you an example. Uh, this is nothing because these numbers are like baby numbers, right? But uh, here you can see 18 views, 10 views, and finally one of my videos is getting 126 views, right? This video got 126 views. And for example, you can see that I was able to get 10 subscribers in the last seven days. And again, these are just numbers that are super small, baby numbers, uh, yeah, baby, baby steps. But still, I can only imagine what can happen, if, what can happen next if I did this in, in six weeks then what can happen if I stick to the same niche, if I create better content, and the same thing for you guys. Yeah, I want you to have the same ideas. That you need, if you want to win, you will have to do something like this. You will have to do what your biggest competitor is doing. You will have to be out there. You will have to capture attention. Yeah, you will have to win. So in summary, start creating videos that are five to 15 minutes. Start posting content consistently. Again, ideally videos. Get out there, use the platforms that you never considered before, like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Reels, create YouTube videos, help more people, because believe me, maybe right now you're not gonna get a lot of views, but after one week, six weeks, you're gonna get some views, and then after one year, you're gonna get so many people that you are not gonna even know what to do with so many prospects. You're not gonna even know what to do with so much money, right? And that's the goal, that's the goal. Not even money, but helping more people and getting people that will come to you. So the tip for this video, Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, this is like a, a, a topic that is a little bit different, but I just wanted to talk about this because I see that a lot of times people underestimate the importance of creating content. So create content, please guys, create content, create videos, please, please just do it. Just do it. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next.